Hey guys, I'm gonna make this quick video about Concentra. Um, a couple years ago, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but a couple years ago, I lost a job because of Concentra, because of the DOT drug test. It wasn't this location, but the job I have now, I had to go to this Concentra, and I almost lost that job because of this Concentra. I even called the, the, the number to complain. Um, yeah, I came pretty close to, to losing the job I have right now. Um, so I I basically, I, I couldn't go back to them. So I went to a different DOT drug facility. And um, it wasn't Concentra. It was total different name and everything. Um, and I was fine. I got a two-year medical card and I'm good to go. So let me tell you guys, right now I have a two-year medical card. I'm good at my company, my new company I have. My new company I almost lost because of Concentra. Now what happened was, when I went to Concentra for the uh, drug test, DOT physical and stuff, they told me that my weight, not technically my weight, but my BMI, my BMI was right at the limit. I think, I forgot what the limit was, but my, my BMI was like 1% higher than what their limit was. And they told me because of DOT regulations, they would have to put a sleep study on my record, and they only gave me a uh, they gave me a three month medical card. So at the time, I was working with the temp service, driving trucks temporary for a couple of days, different companies. So to work for that company, uh, the temp service, I had to go get a medical card. So when I went to go get the medical card, they gave me a three month medical card and told me I need to do a sleep study and come back before three months so they can see the progress of everything to give me more than three months. Well, when I was with that temp company, um, I finally got a, a job offer, a full time, so I took it. So they sent me back to this same one again. I already went here once with my temp company. I went here a second time for the full time job. So when I went back here a second time, they told me that my sleep study is still my record and that I need to go do the sleep study. They can't take it off my record and they're not gonna give me another medical card. I told them that I need a medical card, even if it has a restriction on it, that's only three months. I need another one for this company because you know, in trucking, you can't use any medical card you want. You have to, they'll send you to a facility to get a medical card for that specific company. And they, they just didn't understand that. Um, that was a one problem. The second problem is they were telling me I was at the threshold right over the limit of my BMI for DOT and stuff. Well, I mean, I didn't really know too much about it because I never had a problem, but I looked into it. That There is no requirement, DOT or laws or anything, about your weight limit, about your height or BMI. There, there's none. It was just, it's Concentra's requirement. But legally, there is no requirement. So in order to get a two-year medical card from Concentra, I would have to sit there and jump through their hoops to get a two-year medical card. Well, they end up telling me that they couldn't, I have to do a sleep study, so I couldn't go anywhere else. I would have to come back to Concentra. No other, doc no other doctors from other facilities would see me because it's on my record. This is what they told me. Uh, so I was starting to get a little nervous. So I was talking to my company that was going to potentially hire me. They sent me somewhere else. I went in, did my physical, BMI, all that stuff. And I walked out with a two-year medical card within like 45 minutes. I was good. So here, let me, um, I recorded a little bit of this. So let me see if I got it. No, there is a requirement because it was requesting it. So it's, it's not about losing the weight. Um, this is what your BMI was when you came here, so it's going to be asking for it to be cleared the next time. Oh, yeah. A quick question. Um, since I was at this Concentra about a year ago for a different job, and they gave me the records from when I was there last year, and my weight and BMI was higher last year than it is this year. So basically, I'm doing good. I'm doing shit. I'm doing good. I'm doing better right now. 
I'm losing weight and all that stuff. I'm doing better, but somehow I am restricted to a three month medical card with sleep study because they're worried about sleep apnea. I don't have sleep apnea. They never asked me questions to see if I had sleep apnea. They just assume I do have sleep apnea, but I don't. Um, so since I'm doing better and stuff, I still kind of get screwed over with the three month medical card, which is kind of funny. But here, let me uh, continue playing it. You come in for a DOT physical wherever you go. It's going to be, it's going to ask you what happened. You, you hear that? that performed. Where... You're going to be required to do the, the, hold on, let me go back. So it's, it's not about losing the weight. Um, it, this is what your BMI was when you came here. So it's going to be asking for it to be cleared the next time you come in for a DOT physical wherever you go. It's so since they put the sleep study on my uh, record, wherever I go to do a physical, they're going to ask me why I didn't do it, why I didn't go to my doctor and do a sleep study. This is Cassandra. This is exactly what they're telling me. It's going to be, it's going to ask you what happened. Why wasn't that performed wherever you go? Okay. But so, so basically I, I can't get another job, uh, a permanent job because of this is what you're telling me. I'm not saying that you can't get a permanent no, job. No, I, I can't. And right here is um, they're not, they're refusing to do a DOT physical on me. Um, they don't, they're not going to give me another medical card um, because they want me to go do a sleep study. And I'm trying to explain to her that I'm switching to a different company that's full time and I need a medical card for that specific company just so I can get hired. And she was refusing to do that. And that almost cost me that job because they refused to do a DOT um, test on me. But luckily the company was good enough to send me somewhere else that was not Concentra, and that that was pure luck. That helped me a lot. Do you have a three month card? No, I can't use that card though. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I need uh, one for each employer. That's, that's the only thing yeah. I have. Well, they're requesting a sleep study test. So you can try and get that done and then bring that in. And, and if you want to bring it with a new employer, we can we can attach that. And then so so in order to get my full time job, she wants me to go do a sleep study test with my doctor. And then once I get my test results from that, then she wants me to come back with another DOT form or drug test form, whatever, and then give all the information to the doctor at Concentra. That way they can evaluate me and then give me another medical card forever, how long, a couple months or a year or two. Um, so I'm not sure how long sleep studies take. I've never done one before, but I have a job where an employer is going to potentially hire me. And I have to sit here and do a sleep study for a couple of days or a week or two. That's a lot of hoops to jump through and that's going to cost a lot of time. And that employer would probably just, you know, forget, forget about me. I'm too much trouble. I'm too much work because it's a CDL job. They got tons of people applying. Go from there. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Is the, the head doctor telling you this? Yes. Uh, okay. All right then. Alrighty, bye-bye. Right. Okay, so um, yeah, they, they basically refused to do a DOT physical on me, um, bottom line. So that almost cost me a job. Uh, the first time I went to Concentra a couple years ago, they they completely screwed up my drug test. Um, that that's that's another story. That's that's a little bit longer story. But yeah, I, I know Concentra is pretty big. I know a lot of companies use Concentra and almost every job I had, I had to go to Concentra, um, but I don't like them because they're so, they get massive amount of people to come in to do DOT drug tests and stuff like that, that they're, they're rushing and they're trying to hurry up. They're trying to pit the cows through, you know, whatever, through the farm and stuff. They're trying to do it real quick and they fucked up. So, um, yeah. They basically told me they would not do a DOT uh, um, physical on me until I go to do a sleep study with my doctor for a previous job I used to have. And that has nothing to do with the full-time job I'm trying to get. So I had to jump through all these hoops and play around. Um, I even sent this to my employer, my potential employer that was going to hire me and let them hear it. And they sent me somewhere totally different. So, you know, you guys, uh, let me know what you think. 
I sometimes Concentra can be good, but from my experience, they they've been pretty shitty. Um, I'm just trying to wonder how many other people out there are having problems like me. Um, but you know, th this is over a couple months ago. I've been with a new company, the potential company that I've been having problems with on on the Concentra. I've been with them two months now. After I got off from JB Hunt, and it, it's going great. Uh, I get paid by the hour. I get paid a lot more money than JB Hunt right now. So, yeah, you guys, let me know what you think about that. Um, because I know Concentra probably screwed a couple other people over too. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Thanks.